All right, team, so I was making a completely different video for today. That video is already finished and it's ready to go. Uh, but we'll have to wait to upload that a little bit later tonight sometime after this video goes live. It is somewhat related to this because in doing that video, I came across information for the 9 remake. We do talk about the 9 remake in that video very briefly and we talk about Midori. It's kind of the focus of the video. If you know the situation, you know. If you want to hear me talk about it, that'll be uploaded later. So I went up recently called Epic DB that catalogs the storefront data for Epic Games Store very similar to Steam DB. And there's information on it in regards to Final Fantasy 16, which we already know that game's getting a PC port. We knew that before the game even launched, right? So that's not really a surprise. But there's something on there also in regards to Final Fantasy IX, potentially the IX remake. So let's read this article really quick to kind of get the full scope of the situation. Originally spotted via the Family Boards Forum, a new third-party website for databasing the Epic Game Store has recently launched called Epic DB, which seems to catalog Epic's PC storefront in a similar way that the well-known Steam DB does for Valve's. On Epic DB, you can simply search a publisher name and see all the games listed from them, including unreleased games, although these are typically labeled with code names. While you can search for any publisher that releases games on the storefront, most interestingly to us, if you search for Square Enix Japan, you'll find a handful of code names for unreleased games. Two in particular are especially interesting to note, Skobolov and Momo. The first one is a gimme. The project labeled as Skobolov is explicitly related to Final Fantasy 16. On Epic DB, each game has several items attached to it, which give various details about the game's listing on the Epic Game Store. In this case, the Skobolov staging item lists a pathway for save files, which is user direct, maybe my games, Final Fantasy 16, EOS, Epic ID. Final Fantasy 16 has already been confirmed for a PC release, so this is not necessarily new information, but does give an indication what type of information might be found in the database for unreleased games. It may also bring into question about what PC storefront Final Fantasy 16 may launch on, though. So again, not really surprised. We knew this was coming eventually. If it does end up being an Epic exclusive, kind of like what they did with Final Fantasy 7 Remake, that will suck, obviously. There will be some people that will complain about that because people want it on Steam. Uh, but maybe it's just on Epic right now. That's what we're seeing on this back-end shit. But maybe it'll launch on Epic and Steam same time. Who knows? That remains to be seen. On to the far more interesting stuff. The project label Momo is a little less clear-cut, but it's a Square Enix Japan game, and it lists several items that Final Fantasy IX fans may find familiar, including early purchase bonus Tetra Master Starter Pack, pre-order bonus Thieves Knives, cuisine set. So obviously if you're a Final Fantasy IX fan, all those pertain to the game in some way. Tetra Master is obviously the card game from Final Fantasy IX, so if you pre-order the game, you'll get some sort of starter pack. Early purchase bonus and pre-order bonus, I don't know what the difference in those are, but the Thieves Knives are obviously in regards to Zidane. Cuisine set, I don't really know exactly what that is. The first thing you think of is Quinn, obviously, the freaking blue mage that eats everything. But I don't know what that'd be in regards to them, because their weapons were like forks or whatever, right? Cuisine set could be more than one item since it does say cuisine set. So, and it could be maybe like an armor or an accessory that's exclusive to Quinta, but also a weapon for them. I don't know. G side also links to a screenshot from everything with the Momo tag. And there's another item called the Thunderbolt Armlet. That's not something that's from the original FF9. But there is a bolt armlet in Final Fantasy VII and Crisis Core and I think Type Zero. I don't know if that's like an item that's just from the game and it's just in those tags or if it's something you get from like pre-order in the game potentially or like a deluxe edition type shit or something. It's also like a digital soundtrack if you look at that list of items, so it's probably what it's from, maybe. Kind of all that out of the way, at least right now that I'm aware of information-wise for this. This seems to be our first, like, actual confirmation that the game exists, right? Other than, like, the NVIDIA leak a couple years back, and obviously we got stuff from, like, insiders and leakers and stuff like that, but, like, this is from an official source now. Besides the NVIDIA leak, like, this is coming from the Epic storefront themselves, right? That there's something in regards to Final Fantasy IX, and it seems to be, like, pre-order bonus and bonus items for that game. And with having, like, bonus items and, like, starter packs for Tetra Master and stuff like that, this seems like it would be more than just, like, uh, a simple remake, right? It seems like there'd be more to it. Like, this is very exciting. This is maybe a sign of things to come. Like, maybe they're going to start revealing this game before long. The fact that we're starting to see stuff pop up on the Epic storefronts. And also the fact that it is on Epic would also kind of confirm what we've heard before about the game that it's going to launch on all platforms, right? It might maybe, similar to the 16 thing, might maybe be, like, an Epic exclusive potentially. I don't know. That would suck. But at least it looks like it might be coming to PC day one too, which would be fantastic. Also, if you go look at the uh, Momo screenshot that I mentioned previously, like there was stuff that was uploaded to the Epic storefront like last year, or no, two years ago, uh, 2022. Like there's been stuff that's been actually on the Epic storefront for a while in regards to this Momo thing. It's very exciting, my dudes. We've been talking about this for a while now, and it seems like it might finally be actually happening. There's been doubters out there. I think almost every time I do a 9 remake video, there's at least, like, one person in the comment that's like, I don't know why people think the 9 remake's real. And it's like, dude, it's fucking real. It's obviously goddamn real. It was just a matter of time. And it seems like maybe it's finally going to start happening. I cannot wait. I want to see what this fucking game is. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to me if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. That's it. Bye. We used to care what people thought. 
now I care more And nobody out here's got it figured out So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending Depending on whether or not it's worth it So insecure, no one's perfect We spend it with no shame We blow that, like Coltrane, we in here Like Rogaine, or leave it, like Cobain 